Welcome to another video and today based on the title you guys already see you're gonna come with me to get this done. What do I mean by this? I mean this. <sighs> Hold up, I gotta stand up on this thing real quick. <laughs> I'll just go further back. So yes, she is blown out and straightened for the first time in five years. It's kind of weird to see myself with straight hair as I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. It's very weird. One thing I thought the color wouldn't look as great because I'm keeping the roots dark for a while now, but it looks pretty good, pretty, pretty good. You know, you all see the girls on Instagram do this. <laughs> Body and sha. And so, yes, this is literally how my hair used to look all throughout high school and all throughout college until 2013 when I decided no more straightening. Let's get some health into her. And I'll be honest, I got a little bored and I want to do something a little different and I always tell myself when I'm ready, I will straighten my hair. When I am ready, when I want to, not when somebody else is going to make me do it, when I want to do it. And that happened to me today. I needed a well needed trim. So we got her ends looking cute. Uh, I think she took about it inch and a half because typically when she trims my hair she does it in layers so that's when my hair is curly it gets that rounded shape when my hair tends to grow out the top part tends to go burnt and it kind of wants to make a little mushroom cap like like so we don't want that we want the fullness we want the lusciousness we want the body so that's how she typically cuts my hair and if you want to know the, the salon and everything i'll put the info in the description below but it's the same Place I've been going to forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is the hair rules salon. So, yes. And it's so crazy to see my hair straight just because, you know, it's been five years. Like, I still look like me, but I feel like I'm back in the twilight zone as if, like, the last... It's weird. I feel like the last five years hasn't happened because I've gone back straight. But it's not like I prefer this over my curly hair. It's just now it's more of a, oh, it's cute from the time being and I can play around with it and I don't have to style my hair for a week. But the curls are coming back. They're gonna come with a vengeance because my ends are trimmed and I think I'll be all springy and cute so and I will probably film the watch my hair revert you know might as well so we'll see what happens uh, I actually have to wrap my hair for bedtime but I haven't wrapped my hair in years so I don't know how this is gonna work oh I don't know how this is gonna work guys unless you don't you see, when I was in high school and I had my hair straightened, I would put it in a top ponytail. And literally, the best sensation for me was wearing it in a ponytail and then just like walking down the hall with my ponytail just swinging on my neck. <laughs> it's the best feeling. But yes, 
I'm gonna actually wrap my hair on camera for you guys, so we'll see how that works. I actually have to get my mom's comb because I don't have a comb for straight hair. I don't use my powder brush. Actually, I should just get the powder brush because I need the powder brush to wrap my hair with. So it doesn't matter either way. But here she is. Let's do a center. Whoa. I don't have a comb. We'll do a center part for you guys. But <laughs> when I was feeling cute, I suggest slick the hair back all the way back. And then part it like so. When I wanted to do a little something, something, something light. Or, but my favorite part was either that off the center on the left side part, like so. Or on occasion, I would do complete center part if I really wanted that sleeky look. And like I said, my hair was cut in layers so that she looks cute for both sides but more particularly for the curly because I don't do straight often. It might be another five years before I straighten it again. We don't know. But and also the reason why I wanted to straighten it is because I had a fear of straightening my hair for the fact of the heat damage and the five years that I had to grow out my hair. So and I watch a lot of other YouTube girls who go back and forth and they'll straighten once out of the year. And then wear their hair curly for 10 months, but then strain it for one month out of the year. So I said, if they can have that much flexibility, why can't I? But it was all in my head. So, decided this is going to be time. I'm going to spend the money anyway. Might as well let them straighten their hair as well. Excuse me, it's late. So, do that. And let's go get this powder brush so I can try and, and it's real like it's really soft like I've been touching it all day like it's ridiculously soft and my hairstylist said that my hair is super super healthy and whatever I've been doing keep it up because I've got the regimen down for myself and for my hair and what I was interested in is that before she blow dried my hair she actually used the Shea Moisture uh, what is that line? Um, the one that's in the brown packaging. I put the name in the description box below. But it's in a brown package. The Intensive Hydration Collection. She used the leave-in for that collection before she did my blowout, which helped my hair to be really, really soft. And then she used another cream product with it. But I didn't exactly get to look at the cream. I believe it was a hair rules cream, like a blowout cream or something of the sort. But that leave-in was pretty good at helping with retain the moisture. Because my hair does not feel dry at all. It feels baby bottoms off, like... I can't stop running my fingers through my hair because, of course, the only time I can run my fingers through my hair is when I'm doing a wash and go. And that's when I'm doing like this. So, I kind of enjoy being able to run my fingers through my hair. <laughs> oh, it's interesting. It's so weird. It is so weird, guys. It's been years. And even looking at yourself, because I literally feel like I'm back to college days when I used to straighten my hair. So flowy. And actually, I've been waiting for a while to do this. This little snippet. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this because I've been wanting to do this part for a while. It's coming.
I'm almost 90% sure that I might get my hair straightened with the trim this Friday. And I'll take you guys along and I will vlog part of the process. But the week coming up, this is Monday. And yesterday I started the process. Yesterday I just detang co washed my hair, detangled it with conditioner since I washed it a couple days before. Today I use the Camille Rose uh, deep conditioner because my hair is so clean, but I just want to condition, condition, condition. I do use the Camille Rose um, conditioner. Um, did the whole shebang, left it on, showered, rinsed it out, and then detangled with my Shea Moisture conditioner. And just left some conditioner in my hair and did this funky little braid. So I'm protecting the hair, making sure it stays moisturized for the whole week. Every other day I'm going to be putting it in water just to make sure it's a bouncy and luscious. Um, in like two days I'm probably going to do a protein treatment. Um, yeah. I'm gonna do the Afro-G protein treatment and then follow that up with the TGIN moisturizing treatment. Then do a wash and go, cause I have to go to my salon with my hair in a wash and go. So the stylist can see how my hair is sitting now since it's grown out quite a bit since the last trim. And then I'll talk to her about potentially straightening thy hair. Now I know she straightened my mom's hair, she straightened my best friend's hair. So I know she's good with it beautiful with it but I'm so nervous because of what I've been through with my hair in these past five years so yes we shall see what happens so we are about to head to the salon to get this mane trimmed and dare I say, straightened. <sighs> Nervous all night, could not sleep, went to bed at like 3 a.m. No, actually 4 a.m. Woke up at 8 a.m. to get ready to go to the salon. And this just ends up being the typical look that you do to go to the salon. So I feel kind of cute no matter what the outcome is. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. But she definitely needs a trim because she's going like that and she needs to be sitting up here. And why not leave for the first time in five years with my hair straight? <laughs> Nervous! Say you so. What do you mean no? Because the wind. It's the wind. The light is definitely like in the way though. Mm -hmm. 
food, food, food. They got wrong, like, I don't, I don't know how to do this. So kind of feel like I've gone back in time a little bit with the straightness. I feel like the past five years hasn't happened in a sense. I know it's happened, but in a sense it's like, oh, starting from scratch. My hair color is similar to the ombre style that I had five years ago before when I started transitioning. And the length is pretty much as long, well after the cut, it's as long as it was when I started transitioning. So, still mid back, okay. but I did lose about an inch and a half with the trim. Interesting. Very soft, very smooth. I was worried about how the ombre would look with the straightening because I love it. My roots have grown up a lot since the last time I got it colored. So I was worried how it would look with the straightening, but it's cute. It's cute. And of course the main reason going to salon ends healthy end mm, the smell of a street in mm. but yes so I'll take you along in this week of the straight hair it's kind of weird that I can run my fingers through my hair it's pretty weird snack snack it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty weird there she is. And I literally have a picture when I'm just like this. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like? Do you love? Do you like it? Got my powder brush. Got my mom's because it's hardly used and dry. So. We gon' start with the e, we gon' start with the ends, and then we gon' come, And at one point I was like, I would never do this. Well, I never said I would never strain it again. I just said it has to be the right way to protect my hair and protect the health of my hair. So, and now I have done it the right way versus the way I used to do it, like I said in my um, getting used to my hair, where I would get a blowout professionally, come home and straighten my hair, and then a couple days when my edges sweat because I was a cheerleader in high school, I would go over it again with Dax, which is like grease, like a black girl grease, Dax in my hair, the blue one, because the blue one smelled the best, and then I would restrain it. So basically, I was frying it on top of the blow drying. So I can't wonder why I had heat damage, but I was upset. It's just so crazy to be able to see the length right now. And let's do quick. And I did get about an inch, inch and a half taken off. Let's see. Let me actually take this top off so you guys can properly see. Where it goes! And don't mind the bed because I literally was laying down and decided that I should film this video, so. <laughs> it's okay. So, just so you guys can see. So, we are still sitting right here, easy. 
the lower small of my back before I got the trim it was basically down here so about an inch and a half I lost so again right around here the small of my back down here and before the trim it would have been down here further here okay Let's see if I can, I'm just enjoying the quickness of detangling. <laughs> just for the week, don't get, don't get used to this guys, just for the week, just for the week. Okay, so how I used to, I can't get over how freaking long my hair is and how healthy my ends are. My ends have never, when straightening my hair, never been this healthy and this thick. Like never guys, never. Okay, so what I used to do was do a part like center and whatever, center like this, off center part on the left side and I would always wrap to the right. So let's see, I'm just going to turn and look at my mirror guys. So we're going to do, just knock it to that side. <laughs> and my brother's girlfriend was joking with me and said, my hair's probably too long to be able to stay in a wrap. <laughs> we shall see. Oh, okay, get to the other side, get to the other side. does a lot of work when trying to wrap my hair and I'll also say there was like weird things I re remembered happening when I used to have my hair straight so um yeah I did a wrap guys <laughs> but yeah um like little things you forget that you don't have to deal with oh that looks that looks hella wonky in the back. Yeah, like little weird things that would happen. Um, like, of course, it's cold outside, so I had to wear a coat. But while wearing the coat, I had to make sure to take all my hair out to put it behind me so that I wouldn't get caught in the zipper because when my hair is curly, it just sits on my shoulder. So I literally just have to psh, do this motion, and it's fine. It's just the front I got to worry about, but this because everything was like down down here so I had to make sure to bloop, bloop, throw it back so it wouldn't get caught in the zipper. I need you to go inside. So just gonna be a bootleg wrap and then what I used to do was just hold one hand hold it with one hand and I have the tiniest head tie right now. I'm so unprepared for this guys. So I'm prepared. I don't have a proper head tie. I'm just using the one that I use for as a headband. So, because of course, my regular hair can't fit through all this. And then I used to make the triangle. So it's like so. Put it on front of my head. Still holding. So switching hands now. Put the flat back. And then. Oh, I still got it, guys. I still got it. And then we tie her up, you know, got her hanging out because some of her wants to hang out. Doo -doo. Now, the other thing I realized, because usually when I wash my face to get off the, the makeup and stuff, I don't pay attention to whether or not I need to wet my edges or if wetting my edges is going to be a bothersome because it's curly and the water is just going to be better for it. But now I'm about to wash this makeup off and I have to make sure I don't wet my edges because it's only been a few hours since my hair has been straight. <laughs> Good times.
I will say this. I am glad that they that the salon I went to does not do roller sets. Because if I had to get a roller set in order to get my hair straightened, I would be like, no. No. Just give me a regular blow dry. Because that brings back such bad memories of being under the hood of dryer for like an hour and a half because I had so much hair in my hair needs to dry. Felt like our own personal sauna. Not good. Alright guys, so if there's any other videos you would like me to film while my hair is straight, please list that in the comments below. Or any other questions about my experience this week, let me know. Ooh, this is going to be so weird sleeping without my hair in a pineapple. I feel like I'm bald right now. Oh my god. Alright guys, I will see you in the next video. Talk to you next time. This is a busy busy.